Hey guys, this is Siri Torres. It's Frankie Torres. And we're the Pixel Slayers. And we're in between editing kind of a difficult video right now, so we're going to do an unboxing. This is Monopoly Gamer Overwatch Collector's Edition. And um, comes with a lot of cool stuff, as you can see here. And we're going to open it. Yeah, you can find this game for between $10 and $25, depending on the vendor. Uh, we'll put an Amazon link in the description. The price varies and fluctuates quite a bit. Oh my goodness. So pretty nice looking box. It's got little windows for all your characters, which we'll see them a little bit better once we get this opened up. It actually opens up. This is crazy. It doesn't have all the characters though. Look at this. That's sweet. Yeah, it's like a that's box over a cool. box. That's necessary. And um, well, there is like 34, 33 characters, 32. Yeah. So what's so, so cool yeah. collectors about this edition? It comes with an extra box. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. All right, already, already I'm seeing my girl, Risa, <laughs> one of my faves. Let's go through some of these figures. So we got Those are Diva. Really detailed. Yeah, you can actually kind of see her in there. Um, I apologize, my nails are a mess. Those are some of the nicest Mop Monopoly figures I've ever seen. I'm wondering if that's part of the collector's edition. Maybe the other ones aren't as detailed. Maybe. I'm um, impressed. So it's Diva. There's Mercy. Mercy. My brother's favorite character doing the resurrect pose reaper one of my buddy moth's favorite characters winston who's one of my favorites lucio who is elisa's favorite And this is Tracer, who's kind of just the mascot of Overwatch. And she has that cute little British lesbian time traveler. Ew. I like the dye. They're like um, plus and like a, a health thing. Yeah, this is like kind of health. Oh, I see. So it's like support DPS tank. I don't know why it has those, but I'm sure it's incorporated into the rules somehow <laughs> in a regular dye. These are sort of like the houses, but they kind of look like like the credits you get, I guess, or like the loot boxes. Interesting. Um, and then properties. I guess the properties are supposed to be um, the the places. So I just unwrapped the cards. We got Arisa, Reinhardt, Roadhog. We we got all these. Oh, Zarya's my girl. Anna, Brig, Moira. Zen, Bastion, Doomfist, Genji. I'm wondering how far forward this went. I'm not expecting any echo. Hanzo, Junkrat, McCree, May, Farah, Soldier 76, Sombra, Symmetra, Torbjorn, Widowmaker, Diva, Winston, Lucio, Mercy, Reaper, Tracer, No, Bap, or Sigma. So this is before the release of Baptiste or Sigma, who were... So, No Baptiste, Sigma, or Echo, who are the three most recent heroes. So, that's just how it goes. But, we got your loot boxes. You can open the loot boxes. That is super cute. That is really cool. I kind of really freaking like that. <laughs> um, objective Marketplace. I'm curious how these... Oh, I see. So, every map place is an objective. It's not just a map. That is really cool. I really like that. And then, um, quick reference for board spaces. I know there are some differences between this and the standard Monopoly rules. So I'm curious what those are going to be. And there's, it sounds like it's going to be quite a bit different. <laughs> yeah. There's the instructions, which, I mean, it's kind of cool because it's not just a simple reskin. It's actually you know something different you can tell they put a lot of effort into this version too it's not just like a quick like quick buck you know like some of those monopoly games that come out around black friday and they're just like really crummy it's literally yeah so it's literally just a reskin but these they actually have their certain attributes of each of these and it kind of connects to how they are in the game that's really nice manual too yeah okay so here we have the board We've got all these different locations. We got the loot boxes. Looks like they incorporate HP. 
That's really interesting. Yeah, collect two HP and loot box. Level up. I'm not even sure how that's supposed to work. This sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, jail's still kind of the same. But it jail's been... in a completely different place. Oh, no, no, it's not. I'm a liar. It's in the right place. Oh, okay. Well, and then you got the payload instead of the, um, instead of the trains. It's a payload. <laughs> I love that. I that's like really it. cool. And the, the art, artwork. Yeah, there's not a boring part on this board. It's all, like, something to look at. It's pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, and the way they kind of make the, the levels sort of blend together into multiple spots. It's really cool. I like it. I wish they would have had a more creative use of jail, though. Yeah, they didn't really didn't do anything with that. It's like almost like a carryover from the game. Maybe yeah. Parking, too, and... Yeah, Honestly, this, those pieces, all of them are kind of basic. Yeah, but uh, the rest of it's pretty cool, so I don't really mind that. Um, and then you wanted to show us the back of the box? Well, the sides, too. There's oh. uh, really cool artwork on the back and the sides. Yeah, so we've got Diva, Symmetra, and Hanzo on the back of the box. So this is the back of the inside box of Widowmaker. And then there's, uh, another... and then there's Genji. Yeah, very cool and very well printed artwork. I, I like it. Yeah, it's done really well. This does not look like a rush print job or anything. Yeah. Yep, so that is the Overwatch Monopoly Gamer Edition. Yeah, um, like I said, um, I haven't actually seen the non-collector's edition for sale. And I think maybe this was like a limited time release and they just kind of made so many that you could still buy them. Hmm, that's my theory at least but um, yeah. we'll put a link in the description and uh, if you're interested it's like I said it's between 10 and 25 dollars depending on where you get it yeah. and also depending on Amazon sells and stuff and that's at this time obviously you know 20 years from now it could fluctuate but yeah, it might be a thousand dollars oh years. my god yeah don't <laughs> don't put a bet on that but <laughs> yeah um, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you subscribe and uh, maybe we'll see you in our next video bye bye